MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Ladies Baseball is on the air. Your Ought to be a good Houston. one here between the Boston Astros. Red Sox and the Houston Astros. It's Astros baseball on the show. Next. Chris Paddock, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Striding into the box, Ronald Acuna, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The, Boston, the center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Changeup called strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Shorts and t-shirts the order of the afternoon 92 degrees here at first pitch. The one one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Got to love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch swung on and lifted in the air to left center long run for the center fielder he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning that is third the left fielder number nine Ted Williams now batting Ted Williams he'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. And he misses with it one and one and set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. Two and one to Ted Williams now. The 2-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, and now the Astros will go to work for the first time. No score.
Lance Lynn is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Lance Lynn is a strike throwing machine, not an overpowering guy. He's 92 to 95 miles an hour. He's going to throw anywhere between 60 to 70 percent fastballs. Does have the slider and does use his changeup. He's primarily a fastball type pitcher. If he has that good breaking ball, he could be really tough. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now the Red Sox have to deal with a real threat on the bases from the get-go. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack, without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. Rip down the first baseline. Rendon is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere he's got, he's got, just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Working for the punch out and the offering. Well, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. In now, Jeff Bagwell. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. That misses 2 and 0. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Two 0 count, the pitch. Three and 0 now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first, but not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. The 3-0 pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Batting four. The designated hitter. Coming to the plate now. Pete Alonso. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Buxton on second. Bagwell is over at first with one away. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. Alvarez. Stepping in now, Jordan Alvarez. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's gone four for nine. He also has one home run. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. Freeman's got it, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Nothing in the Houston first. We've played an inning from Minute Maid Park. Scoreless on the show.
Here's J.D. Martinez. Leading off with a red shot. The designated hitter. J.D. Martinez. Here comes the first pitch. Inside ball one. Nope. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Too high and it's three and oh. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Here it is, the 3-0. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So next up will be Freddie Freeman, the winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for first baseman in the National League. From the belt, the pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Comes set and the 0-1. Good change up there as he takes command 0-2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. 1-2 to the Boston shortstop. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. The 1-2. Oh, that's off the plate. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. The 2-2. Two -two. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put-away pitch, works the count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. the stretch 
Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Runners are at first and second with one away. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Point D roll. That looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Two men on. Two out and striding toward the plate. Next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Red Sox on top in the early going. One nothing as we play the second. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. The set and the 1 1. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to 2 and 1. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Now, a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And this will ricochet off of them on the mound. But they'll get the out at first anyway. And that, rather bizarrely, will end the inning. Red Sox settle for just the one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Red Sox one and the Astros nothing. Leading off the inning, Fernando Tatis Jr. And they'll need him to get something going here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. To be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Blackman, or Chuck Nasty as he's commonly referred to. He was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Oh. 
So a runner at first with one man gone. And in at the plate steps Keston Huron. From the stretch. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. Mowing away with that one, it's one and two. High in the air and deep to left center field. And oh my goodness, it's off the light pole. So a two run shot to left center and the Astros take the lead. It's two to one. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. At the plate, Will Smith. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Fouled away. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Here's Byron Buxton now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. One and two. Count is one and two. Lynn gets the sign. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Astros plate two on the two run home run. We've played two, two to one Houston. So striding in, Ronald Acuna. The center field of the 13. Ronald Acuna. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Third inning underway now as a curveball misses here to start things out. It's 1-0. That evens it up one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here one and two now. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. To two balls and two strikes now. Everything this guy throws moves and that two seamer has a mind of its own. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. 
So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Alex And that'll bring up Alex Brickman. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though. And that's ball one. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. And he fouls this one off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back in there. Into the box, Ted Williams. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. A ball and a strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Now a throw over, and he's back in standing. Grounded to short. He's got it. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Nothing doing for Boston. They're down 2-1. Anthony Rendon looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First offering on its way. Outside, that's the ball. The 1-0. 2-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and Line toward the gap in left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now in the box, Jeff Bagwell. He drew a walk his first time up. Pitch on the way. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And with it, the Astros have taken a 3-1 lead.
Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Now that the designated hitter. So here's Pete Alonzo. Oh, as Alonso. he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Now a fastball. Oh, strike three called on a pitch that looked inside. Instead, it's out number two. Well, that so call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it Yo wasn't dog. outrageous. Hey, listen, Alvarez. calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Lays off 1-0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. And this will be fouled away. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A little roller toward the hole. Scooped up. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Astros get a run here courtesy of the solo homer. We played three full. It's now three to one Houston. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. New inning set to get underway. Into the box now. J.D. Martinez. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is right there, and he's got it for out number one. Here's the first baseman, Freddie first Freeman. Team. He's 0 for Freddie. 1 thus far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good. But to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Trevor Story steps in now. As he rips it on the ground to second. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Red Sox go down 1-2-3, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Thank you, Heidi. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman gloves it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Oh, that's pretty accurate. Here's Charlie Blackman now, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Now here's the pitch. And that one got a piece of him. Well, as a pitcher, you never want to hit a guy, but he's been struggling early, and the hitters have owned the inside part of the plate, so maybe this will help him reclaim the inner half and start to become more effective. Has to command it in there, though. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Keston Hiera. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. From the stretch. Nope. And this is low ball one. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him. One and one now. In for strike two. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't now showing the fastball catcher. early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. At the plate now, Will Smith comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fouled away. Three runs, four hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Houston, and it's still three to one. Now to the plate, Michael Brantley, a base hit in his first right trip. Here. Michael Brantley. Here's the pitch. Ball, inside. A 
swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Sent foul again and after being way ahead now it's even a two and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Red Sox have cut this to a 3 2 ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He hit a sack fly earlier. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Now, some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right hander are up to throw. Two and one. Hits are now even at four apiece. All even now, two and two. And now pitch on the way. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 oh to start the in-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And a ball 1-0. Now here it comes. Nope. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hey. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 2-1 home. The swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Red Sox have drawn back to even at 3-3. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. That's the first pitch to him. It's a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0 he is swung on and missed in that strike one. <laughs> Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. And just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around and it's even now at 2 and 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. 
And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. To the plate now, Alex Bregman. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Swings through it for strike number two. One and two, here it comes. Popped high in the air. Piura is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we are all tied at three apiece. Stepping in, Byron Buxton, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one runs up high, ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now here's the pitch. Two and one. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Here now the 2 2. Is laid off, and the count runs full. Three two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. In now is Anthony Rendon. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering on its way. Low for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. Outside, 3 and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Anthony Rendon connects on a solo shot as they take the lead four to three. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? 
Yeah, Matt, you know what, Debra? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game, but, boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night. Case in point today, ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. He homered back in the third inning in this one. The windup and a 1-0 pitch. 2-0. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. The batter, the designated hitter, Pete Alonso. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Yeah, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game that's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. A 2-0 count to the Astros' DH. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Alvarez. In now, Jordan Alvarez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Lynn comes set. Here comes the first pitch. Scorched to third. Bregman has it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Astros get a run here courtesy of the solo homer. Five innings complete. It's now a 4-3 Houston lead. Frankie.